my name is Tony Smith Roth, and I grew up in Oak Cliff mostly. We lived on Brook Valley, and I went to school at Justin F. Kimball. And at Christmas time, we, my dad went a little overboard with the decorations, <laughs> and he was a car dealer in Dallas, but there was no actual advertising on our house or anything. We had a car up there with reindeer and Santa. It was a Renault Caravelle because there weren't a lot that were convertible. It was so funny because everybody always thought, my gosh, why didn't your roof fall in? Well, you know, those cars weren't built real heavy back in the back in those days. <laughs> but we did have extra uh, trusses put in the attic, and they would lift it up with a crane on the roof, and it was quite a sight because all the kids in the neighborhood would come around and watch, you know, as they lifted that car up on the roof every year. The box, the mailbox that was out in front, the kids would put letters in it for Santa. We had packages under the tree, you know, big packages that would have weatherproof paper and things and ribbons on them, and so he had those out there. And we had music playing from the house, and we had loudspeakers outside, and so there was always Christmas music going outside. It was just part of my whole childhood growing up. When I was younger, I, I got to play the elf. (laughs) <laughs> and help Santa. And then as I got older, some of the neighborhood kids did it. The boy I was with was picking me up, and they were out there just taking video pictures, and we just happened to walk out of the house right about that time. He had to park, I best my memory, like on the next block over. So we went out of the house and walked out around to get to his car because you couldn't park on our street. <laughs> Daddy would actually start with the lights and around Thanksgiving, start working on the lights. And it seems like the best of my memory, there were about 2,000 lights on the house. And back in those days, that was quite a lot. It's not anything compared to some now, but back in the day, it was a lot of red lights. He loved red lights. He said, you can't have too much red at Christmas. The traffic would back up all the way down Brook Valley and down the street coming onto Brook Valley And at one point, we actually had to hire people to help with the traffic. It got so busy. There were other things in the neighborhood, too, besides our house. There was a little girl a couple streets over that played the organ in the window of her house, and it was just beautiful. So the whole neighborhood was really very festive back in those days. And, you know, it actually was on the newscast. And I can remember Bob Gooding, who used to be with Channel 8 News in Dallas. He and Daddy were friends. And I can remember him coming to our house, and then it would also be on the news. And it was in both of the papers, the Times-Herald and the Dallas Morning News. There were two back then. Yeah, all the newspapers would come and take pictures and, you know, write articles and everything. And it was it was just fun. And Daddy would, you know, he would buy hundreds and hundreds of candy canes for Santa to give out to the kids. That was his favorite part, to be out there somewhere, you know, just kind of watching and he was not Santa. A lot of people thought that he was, but he was not. It was actually a friend of his who was an off, he, it was, he did it in his off-duty time. He was a police officer. I think about 10 was when Santa left. And, of course, there would still be traffic until late. And I think, it seems like Daddy kept the lights on until around midnight because there would still be a lot of people driving 